Hello everybody, welcome to Leeds Wine TV. I am your host Mark Fusco. Uh, we've got yet another wine for you. Uh, this is the IE, IE, but it's EY, um, Vigne Las Colas Grenache. Uh, it's from the Vin de Pays de Côte uh, Catalanes. Now this is a uh, Grenache wine from, I'll uh, do a little rinse, um, Grenache wine from, uh, from France. And um, it is 90% Grenache, 10% Maved, Mavedre. So uh, got this at six, for uh, six ninety seven. I'll just get the little label there. Six ninety seven at World Market. <clears throat> it is a single vineyard, and they call it Old Vines. I don't know how old the vines are. Maybe they say I think they're over sixty years old. Thought I saw something about that. Let's check it out. Wow, interesting. Okay, so got a lot of stuff going on in here. Um, really nice. So getting like some rose, some floral, it's like almost like rose petal. Um, kind of earthy or dirt type of stuff. Um, uh, not quite dust. But maybe like a sawdust, uh, you know, like you walked into, uh, like you walked into a barn or 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 a, um, I wouldn't say like a horse area. I mean, I don't say like smell horse manure or anything like that. But but it's kind of sawdusty, and with a little bit of rose petal on there, getting a bit of fruit, but it's 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 not coming through as much as the other stuff. I can just smell this a lot. So let's, but you're not here to watch me smell. So let's taste it. Mm. Okay, like immediately, I got like this bubble gum flavor. Really strange. So I got this, that was the initial attack, I got like some bubble gum, and it's gone. I don't taste it anymore. But I'm getting some good fruit, a little bit of sweetness. Um, the tannins aren't super bad, but it's definitely a dry wine. Um, it's not, it's not sweet, not, but you can taste, you can taste some sweetness, like the essence of the fruit, but it's not like super dry. Oh, there's that kind of that bubble gum again, but it's like, a, it's like a, I don't know, it's, it's strange, but it's a dry wine for sure. Um, I'm still getting that kind of country feel, um, maybe barnyard or sawdust type of, um, of taste. A little bit of spice. And I mean like spices, not like spicy hot. Um, kind of like walking into a, uh, a, a Pier 1 uh, type of thing. So you're, you're getting that wood. You know that wood flavor, just like you got that wood, just get that wood uh, aroma. So we can get a little more on there. So like, like walking into a Pier 1 or a World Market type of type of environment and, and and mixed with that kind of um I don't want to say cracker barrel but but cracker barrel but but the idea of of you've got a lot of like stuff in, in a retail environment um so you've got a lot of conflicting uh scents that are somewhat somewhat sweet somewhat woody uh somewhat old um so that that kind of thing the the world market pier one probably is the better, uh, more pier one because you can really, you know, they've got that, that, that kind of aura about them. So, I mean, I think it's pretty good. 
uh, especially for seven bucks. Um, I'm going to give this, I mean, kind of debating between two numbers in my head, between 87 or 88. Um, I'm going to give it, I think, an 80, I'm going to give it an 87. I was just thinking I may have gotten, like, some type of green in there. But, yeah, definitely that, that spice, you know, a bunch of spices type of flavor. Um, pretty good. Uh, let's talk about, I hope I didn't ramble for too long. Let's talk about who this is. Like I said, it's 90% Grenache, 10% Um uh, This area is in the Roussan, uh, part of Languedoc Roussan. So uh, I didn't get it done in time. I, I totally forgot we had this wine on Friday. Uh, so I could have done this one. But, of course, I did the other one from Southwest France, which was Tour de France on Sunday. Um, but I could have done that, whatever. But anyway, I forgot we had this, uh, and I bought it because it's in Roussan. Um, but it's a single vineyard, and uh, the Las Colas Vineyard, the IE makes, or EI, sorry, makes uh, single vineyard wines from other parts of the area. They're uh, east of Avignon, as far as the location. It's produced by Jacques uh, Balbe, and the, where they, where the, where the producer is, is, a, is in a little town called Thur, uh, France, and it's really kind of pretty far, you know, a little bit farther south than where this vineyard is. But um, yeah, it's um, it's pretty good. I would totally recommend this. Um, I can see just it, it's kind of a wine that, that you could put with many things. Um, I mean, you could put it with. I can see putting it with you grilled some stuff, you know, like burgers and sausages. I need some sausages. Anyway. That's all the time I got trying to make these seven minutes or less now instead of eight. And uh, thanks for stopping in. We'll see everybody again next time. Hi. Ever wonder what a Grenache and a Verduccio taste like together? I wouldn't recommend that. It's not bad. But it's an acidic Grenache. That's it.